they realized that India could be a very important partner for the United States for the progress, peace, and prosperity in both the countries as well as rest of the world. We share many values, democracy, pluralism, human rights. Yes, from time to time we have differences. Sometimes the definition of democracy depends on the person who talks about it. But the general concepts, everybody knows about it. And I think we are very excited as well as very humbled that finally what should have happened between these two countries in last 75 years is happening now. So, sir, we would like to uh, ask you that uh, is it going to be the bigger event than the uh, 2014 <laughs> Medicine Square Garden event? Unfortunately not, and that's not because <clears throat> anybody wanted it to be smaller. Let me explain to your viewers what happened. Our idea is that in all major cities in USA, one by one, there should be prime minister's event because he's extremely popular among the diaspora and every major city wants a event with prime minister Modi. So it started with New York. Then it went to San Jose. Actually, at that time, prime minister was concentrating on digital India <clears throat> and he said, I won't like to do it in San Jose to have talk with a lot of people in Silicon Valley to bring digital media to India. And of course, a lot of high tech technologies. <clears throat> in 2019, it was a toss up between Chicago and Houston. And there are more than one reason for it, including President Trump himself who tossed the coin in favor of Houston. <clears throat> so Chicago was in line. And even November 2022, when I met Honorable Prime Minister, I again extended him invitation. And he said, yes, next time it will be Chicago's turn. And we started indication, we got indications that he may be coming to USA on a state visit. We contacted Delhi and renewed our invitation. <clears throat> and we got initial indication that the state visit might be somewhere between 17th and 20th of June. So we booked United Center, a large center somewhat similar to Medicine Square Garden with capacity of 22,000. And we are in weekly touch. Then indication came from White House that it may be between June 20 and 27. <clears throat> so again, we booked another large facility that was available called Soldier Field, which can accommodate almost 45,000 after taking out space for stage. But the problem was because this was a state visit, they submitted it to White House and White House wants to get back to them what date, what event will take place and whether it will be one day event, two day event or three days event. <clears throat> Another thing that complicated was the state visit of President of South Korea who was on a state visit to White House on 26th of April. So every time we try to get information, they said it is still pending with White House and White House said our team is busy taking care of visit of President of South Korea. And once that visit is over, we'll start working on state visit of Prime Minister of India. So almost three months went by <clears throat> before anything could happen. It was like in a limbo, pending, pending, pending. Okay. Meanwhile, those people at the stadium said, look, if you want, you pay and book this. And the embassy could say, Brad, bye, we don't know which day exactly it will happen till White House confirms the dates. So finally, at end of April, <clears throat> we had to give up those stadiums. And it was only in late May that White House announced that this will be the state visit and this will be the program. So then I met the ambassador. End of May, I went to Washington, D.C. At that time, he said, yes, the event is getting over. Final event on Friday, 23rd at 6 p.m. And after that, 
you know, everything is up to you people. But then in three weeks time, you cannot organize a function of 40, 50,000 people. You know, it requires time, logistics, exactly. is everything. So at that point, the only choice was requesting Honorable Prime Minister to delay his departure from Washington, D.C. by maybe three hours or so and give us that slot after 6 p.m. So finally, we got in touch with the embassy, Dr. Jay Shankar and the prime minister's office. And we got a green light on 30th of May that, yes, he will grant that time slot. So now we had to find a place. OK. Yeah, we had to find a place, right? We had to organize our organized committee. We had to arrange for volunteer donors. We had to arrange for the list all in three weeks time. But thank God, with there is so much of enthusiasm and so much of support in the community for the prime minister that I think the things are already almost 90% in place.